I'm John from Nickthin Gaming, and I've been working on a fun video tutorial for my uh, viewers that will go through very beginning to very advanced topics. Now, while I was going through this video, I came across an issue that I had a while back um, that I believe I would like to share with everyone. Now, in um, Unity, when you have texts, especially the Text Mesh Pro, you need to assign a font asset, which is different from the normal font like you would find in your Microsoft Word or Notepad. Um, and so to have a font asset, you don't need just the typical TTF file. Now, if we look here in my Assets folder, I do have quite a few fonts. One of them that I may want to use is called Chunk5EX. But my Chunk5EX only comes with a TTF font. Now, if you've ever installed fonts onto your computer so you can use it with your favorite word editor program, all you need to do is double click on the TTF font. It comes up with the whole installation thing. You know, we can actually see that if I go to my uh, file explorer, click here, double click the TTF, you know, it shows this. You click install and then it installs the font. However, that is not enough to use in Unity. You can see that if I try to drag it over, it's just the X. However, in Unity, it's very simple. So, to create a font asset that you can use in Unity, it's as simple as right-clicking your TTF file, going up to Create, going down to Text Mesh Pro, and then Font Asset. You can also do this with Shift, Control, and F12. Now, you have a font asset and you can go and you can drag it onto your text. Now, for example, say you want multiple variations of that text because in Unity with your SDF font asset you can set some great things to it. So for example with this font if I want to have a fun outline to it, or if I want to have a different outline color, maybe I want this fun pink outline, or I want to change the color of the font itself and have it show on every single font. But say I want it here, but I don't want it here. All you need to do is right click, create, and create a new font asset. You could also Control C, Control V to duplicate a font asset. And now when I drag it here, let's make sure I drag the correct one. There we go. So now I have multiple variations of the same TTF file that I can have different default effects onto. And all you need to do to, you know, really know is rename it. So this is my SDF green and pink. So now I see the green and pink asset. And that is a quick tutorial on how to turn your TTF file into a font asset in Unity. It is very simple, but it can be complex if you have no idea where to even begin. So hopefully this video has helped you. If it has, um, like it, subscribe, and watch the other videos that I have available. And goodbye.